Well, would you just look at here? Oh my goodness. Um. Yep, yeah, we're gonna try for another one. We got another mug call, and this one. Um. Yeah. This one. This is from my Canadian brother over there. One of the most dedicated, faithful uh, people that, that I know, pretty much. There's, there's some others, but he's on it, let me tell you. And speaking of a Canadian friend, I keep forgetting to do this. I'm going to try to make this video quick so they'll upload. But uh, some of you have been getting the um, stickers from Matt Pearson, Blazes and Blades. And I've been trying to send them out. Uh, if I've had your address in that, but um, if you'd like to have one, I've still got um, I've still got a few. I've still got some, um, but yeah, uh, Jessica and Rachel and Will uh, are trying to keep the channel going, and she's posting. They were out this past weekend, uh, went camping where that um, they had went with Matt last year, and. Um, uh, trying to make new memories, you know, to cherish the old memories and start new memories. So, yeah. Anyway, Sean over at Shovelhead 8 is who has sent me this mail call. It's way overdue, and I feel really bad about it because it's really intrigued me. I have no idea what's in this one. But, you know, he's been so cool. He, D at Native Tears started Cast Iron Wednesday, and Sean has been faithful. He's did the challenges every year for like now two or three years, maybe longer. Anyway, I didn't do one. I was going to do a coffee challenge. I was going to do cast iron. I can't really edit, so we're going to skip it and just kind of do the uh, the mail call real quick. But um, I wanted to show you because of that, check out this. Looks like a cast iron pan, but it's not. It's like a cast aluminum. And uh, some of you have seen it. I, I've showed it to you on pictures. But it's, um, best I can tell, it's like a, I probably had it upside down, uh, food service pan. It's really lightweight. 1980, I believe it is. And it was, I, this, I, it was $7. I haven't taken the price tag off yet. I haven't used it. I haven't done anything. Daggum, you know. But, um, anyhow, uh, yeah, I didn't know it when I bought that. I'm thinking, I hope this is a real deal or something. But um, I, it was like 60% off, so that was pretty cool. That was one of my finds. Ben's everybody showing their finds. I know uh, Cabot, Bluegill, and Sue, Howard and Sue were there. They were showing theirs. Howard, I liked your mermaid. Man, I got you. So anyway, let me open my package. Oh, man, I did so much I can't remember which way it opens. <laughs> Sean, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. This has been, this has been so hard to sit here. But I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to lose it when I wasn't home, so I didn't take it nowhere. And everybody who's been trying their best to help me, y'all, I'm a hard one to help. First off, it's like Green Acres here, okay? If, if y'all are familiar with the Green Acres, you know, and um, the electrical problems and nothing there works. <laughs> like normal people's yeah i'm like that so um oh gosh but anyway i want to get this one out i'm hoping i'm recording man that scares me to death i see kenny and ugly tent have the same problem there they're oh, I'm recording. oh oh wow sean oh very cool. I love it, love it. An all-weather, tough notepad. Boy, do I, I can't use the internet. I ain't very good with technology. I can use this. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, Sean, I'm telling you, you and them boys and Timmy, yeah. Ooh, yeah. You know, Sean finds cool things I love. When he does, not only Cast Iron Wednesday, he does the um, Bluegrass Bushcraft uh, Coffee Challenge. And I was going to do one of them, and I didn't. That's why I didn't warn. I haven't. This was tea, but anyhow. <gasps> no way! No way! Oh, my gosh! Oh, Sean! 
on. Check it out. Ah, that's that's me on a good day. <laughs> Sean's one of them them influencers, as uh, Cheesehead Chris calls them, bad influencers. <laughs> Back in the day, I would have been. Nowadays, oh, this is cool. I love it. This, aha, uh -huh, coffee challenge coming. But he didn't leave it at this. Mm -hmm. Look at here. This box is filled, buddy, filled. Tim Hortons, double, double. Never heard of that. I heard of Tim Hortons. Is this coffee or... Hey, this is cool. I'll be doing this challenge. Man, oh, there's all kinds. Sean, you sure know how. I tell you what, you and the Winkle people, y'all know how to pack these boxes. I don't know how you do it. I really don't know how you do it. A double-double. A box of double-double. It's coffee. I'm pretty sure it's coffee. Yep, instant coffee. Coffee challenge. Woo! Hey, y'all. Thanks so much. Sean, you're awesome. I love watching you. Yeah, you are one of them influencers. You bad, bad influencers. You and Steve Winkleman and um, Robert at Bluegrass Bushcraft. Yep. James. James is coming up there too. Old school with a modern twist. Oh my, y'all are bad influencers. But now Cheesehead, Cheesy. I don't know. You're a little bit of a bad influencer too, buddy. At least to me. <laughs> Looking forward to that cheese we're going to share. Fall meat's coming up, y'all. And uh, it's up, I think, a week earlier, I think, was what I heard Robert say. Anyway, y'all take care. I hope to uh, see as I'm working. I'm working hard to catch up. Working hard to catch up with you. Working hard to catch up with out there. Working hard to catch up with in here. Working, working, working. <laughs> Smiling all the way. Wish I could edit. I'd show you my smiley face eggs I made this morning. All right, guys. Got to go. Hope this one uploads. Y'all have a great week. Sean, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank Timmy. Thank um, Jonah and Harper. You guys are awesome. See you on the next one. Or see you on your next one. See you on the next one I watch. <laughs>